Hi, I'm Michael, KB9VBR, and I just wanted to say a couple of things before starting this video. This video is a sample of some of the exclusive content that you'll find over on my Patreon page. Patrons help keep the mission alive to inspire and educate the amateur radio community, and for that, they receive the benefit of ad-free previews of new videos, exclusive content, and uncut full-length videos of my Parks on the Air activations. As you know, I seldom make financial appeals in my videos, but I wanted you to know that there are several ways that you can support the channel. The easiest is to like and subscribe to my content. Next is to leave a tip, either by paypal.me or using the thanks icon right below this video screen. If you wish for a more sustaining gift, Patreon membership is greatly appreciated. Links to all of this can be found in the video description below. Finally, be sure to check out my store at www.jpol-antenna.com. You'll find a full line of VHF and UHF antennas for amateur radio, public safety, and GMRS. Purchasing an antenna is a great way to support the channel and receive something tangible in return. Thanks again for your support, and now, on with the video. Michael, KB9 VBR with a Patreon Extra. In my uh, previous video on our Parks on the Air activation of Governor Dodge State Park, I used my new ground radials. And what this is, is a bundle of four wires, 16 feet long. Uh, they're with a single alligator clip. And uh, I made two of these bundles in order to have sort of a uh, quicker ground radial deployment for my Wolf uh, River uh, coil. Uh, a lot of people have said that, that that using more shorter coil or shorter radials seems to work better than less longer ones. So I thought, hey, you know, people like to use the shorter radials. Let's see if I can come up with a system that um, is quick to deploy and um, easy to easy to wrap up. And I think I got something that, that works pretty well here. Like I said, uh, this is this is four wires and um, terminated onto a heavy duty alligator clip. I'll show you some video at the end here on how this was put together. And then what I, uh, what I do is I just kind of throw the whole shebang out and then um, I can spread each one, um, each of these lines out. Uh, so they're radiating from the center of the coil. This gets clipped to my uh, antenna mount and I do the same with the second bundle. So I have a total of eight, coil, eight radials 16 feet long and it seems to work really well. I've used this a, a couple three times now and um, what I found that if I use my whip, just the whip itself and no coil for 20 meters and above, my SWR is usually about 1.5 to 1 with no further adjusting. Um, if I use the Wolf River, if I use the coil for four, and, and then the fully extended whip for 40 meters, yeah, you know, my SWR drops down to about 1.2 to 1. So, uh, in a nutshell, it works really well. Uh, it's a fast deployment uh, to kind of, to wrap these up, I just sort of grab the, the end here and do just sort of that over under wrap and um, get my radials put back in, in the loop and then I they're, they're put them away and they're ready to go for the next time. So I'll roll that little bit of video on how I put these together. And if you have any questions, um, drop me a line. But I'm Michael, KB9VBR. Thanks for watching, have a great day.